Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna uh, walk through which version of AutoHotKey you wanna install, um, why you probably wanna choose that version, and actually installing um, the version that I recommend. So first thing you do is go to go to AutoHotKey.com, that's the simplest thing, just any browser, go there. You'll see a big button here at the front, download. What I like to do is just click that. Um, it's gonna say download current version, this, that. Um, you can, let's go to other versions so we can talk through. Actually, they're all they're all right here now that I look at it. So the current version, this is what we, we probably wanna work with, right? Um, and then we're gonna actually install a very specific version of it. The version 0.1, uh, that's the older one. It was also called Manila. Uh, and it, it, it doesn't have a lot of functionality that this version has. Um, like Calm is a big one of the, they integrated Calm and this is a much, much more robust version version and a lot of the scripts that you'll get online won't work if you get this version so i highly recommend downloading this version the down, the version 2 uh, the alpha version is not the fully released version yet um, also again it's it's new it um the big difference with that is there's no commands it's all function calls uh, that's the biggest difference there's a lot of other differences and however a lot of the, again, a lot of the scripts that you'll get on the forum right now would probably break in version two. So for that reason, I recommend you download the current version. Um, before I do that though, let's, uh, there is another version and let's talk through, oh, that's not where I want to go. Um, oh, here's the forums. So auto hotkey H. Oh, I, I uninstalled auto hotkey, so I don't have my hot strings. Oh, hotkey H. Um, So um, there, this post looks pretty promising. If you do want to actually follow up and read about it, uh, but AutoHotKey H is a it's a it's a fork of AutoHotKey. It has some benefits in that um, it's harder to crack. You can actually put a password protect on it, and it will lock it down pretty well. And you can get really advanced on it. Um, it, it for the most part mirrors the the version um, the current version, not version two. Uh, it is stable, as my understanding. It's pretty solid. However, um, again, just to keep things consistent. Uh, and with what people are normally using, um, I recommend, let's go back to here. We're gonna download uh, current version. So you'll save this somewhere. Uh, let me throw it on my desktop. And it's a small program. So after we download it, then we need to install it. And when you're installing it, this is the second part of what we wanna cover here, is there are um, three different flavors, so to speak, that you can choose. There's uh, the bitness, if you want 64-bit versus 32-bit, it'll pop up here in a second. So you could choose custom installation. It would pick the Unicode 64-bit and then install it to its default place. However, I, I highly recommend you use the Unicode 32-bit. The ANSI one, especially with uh, emojis and things, or if you're using any sort of um, text that has other types of character characters, uh, it, you're just much better off using at least the Unicode version, not the ANSI version. The 32-bit uh, you want over the 64, just because on average, again, the vast majority of scripts on the forum will work with this. Most of them would work with the 64-bit too, but I've run into issues where it doesn't. So I recommend using the Unicode 32-bit. Um, you can choose where you want to install it. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna say yes here, great. I just use the defaults um, here. Honestly, I don't even look at these. There's there's virtually no reason to check or uncheck these. Hit install and basically you're done. Um, you can you can view the tutorial, right? Walk through some of the stuff, look at new things. But this is the uh, which versions I recommend you take choose is again, it's uh, I suggest highly recommend the Unicode 32 bit of auto hotkey of the um, 1.1 whatever actual version it is so the uh the the current version all right hope that helps guys um i'll, I'll do a separate video on choosing an editor and installing an editor cheers